Hey guys, welcome back to Sunday Potluck. Um, have my helper with me again today. Um, I'm going to be making a, uh, so a easy bread pudding from the first edition O Taste and See cookbook. Um, and like I said, I have my helper, so let's see how this goes. Y'all pray for me. She is obsessed with the butter right now. So, um, hi. Uh. Yeah, you got butter, don't you? Yep. Okay, so let's get, <laughs> let's start cooking. Okay, so um, the first thing we need is a loaf of cinnamon raisin bread. Oh. Bread, and I had originally gotten this one, but I don't really like raisins, and I saw this one today in the store, and so I picked it up, and it's also thick slices. So um, we're gonna try this one to see how it goes. Um, oh, no, don't put that butter on that cutting board. Put that butter. Okay. Um, so, um, like I said, it, okay, so it says, um, in a large bowl, break bread into small chunks. So, we are going to, I'm just going to cut this up. Well, this one might have raisins in it, too, but it didn't say raisins, so maybe it doesn't. I kind of hope it doesn't because I don't like it. Ha! Ah. Ah, is that good? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So I'm just going to like um, cut this into thirds and then into thirds again. And that's going to be my size pieces. And then I'll throw that in a bowl. So Marianne likes the bread, if nothing else. So, um, I have had bread pudding a couple of times. Um, it's one of my my friend's favorite desserts is bread pudding. If she sees it on the on the um, menu somewhere, that's what she's getting. So, um, I'm not doing at least that heel that she's eating or end. What do y'all call that end piece? Do you call it a heel or an end or, I don't know. My mom, we always called them heels. I don't know why we called them heels, but that was a discussion a while ago on something I saw. I'm not sure where I saw it, but I don't think those are raisins. I think that's just um, cinnamon, so. Um, but they have di several different kinds of this bread at the store. They had um, cinnamon raisin. They had uh, brown sugar and cinnamon, which is what this one is. You like that butter? Stick of butter is fixing to just be trashed. Okay, so it says to, in a large bowl, break bread into small chunks. Add milk and let it stand approximately for 10 minutes. So the amount of milk it said is... One quart plus one and a half cups. Y'all, a quart is four cups. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to pour this in here. That all nice and absorbed. And I'll grab some more milk. Uh, you know, and it's allergy season in Arkansas, so... Know where that? Where it is? My measuring cup is is um, worn out. You like that? That other loaf of uh, cinnamon raisin bread won't go to waste because she likes it so. Um, she will be eating it, I'm sure, for sure, for certain, at some point in time. Um, just thing. So it says to kind of, do you put, do you put butter on your bread? Y'all should put her butter on her bread. Um, it says to give this a slight stir, and we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes. Um until the milk is 
it was mostly absorbed. So I'm gonna set this over. And then it says in, Star wants to toss to make sure milk is absorbed in a smaller bowl, rem mix remaining ingredients. And she said that sometimes she will add a 16 ounce can of drained fruit cocktail or chopped pecans. Um, so it says mix, mix into bowl of bread and milk. So this calls for three eggs, slightly beaten. Three, y'all, I can count this morning, and that's a good thing because this day has been going crazy. Okay, we're gonna slightly beat these, and then we're gonna add a cup of sugar. Cup of sugar. Ooh, I might have should have gotten a, a little bit bigger um, bowl. Um, it says two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, it says a um, ground nutmeg to taste. Y'all, I hate it when it's to taste because I don't know how much I should put in there. So we're just going to do couple of sprinkles of the nutmeg. I always buy these. I like the way nutmeg smells. I always buy, we're just going to do like that much. I don't know how much that is, but just that much. Um, I always buy these and then they go, they expire before I can use them all. Um, and then it says a small box of jello pudding, not instant, but I don't know, I don't know what flavor, so I just got vanilla. I figured vanilla would be probably the safest of the pudding flavors to get. Um, this quick stir. Whoop. You all right, sister? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, and then um two tablespoons of vanilla and then three tablespoons of butter or margarine melted. I'm gonna have to open them anyway. And since she's got that stick of butter kind of spoken for. I'm gonna have to get another stick of butter, so. Y'all, only in the South can you have a snack by eating a stick of butter. I see you. <laughs> Is it funny? All right, so let me get some more butter. And we need three tablespoons of that. So I'm just gonna cut off three tablespoons of butter. And that needs to be melted. Are you trying to see yourself? Or do you see yourself? Where's Mary Ann? Where is she? I see her. I see a little bit of her anyway. Yeah, I see you. Now, I was trying to do this before she woke up this morning and before it got too hot. And then I ran out of milk and I ran out of vanilla. And so I had to run to the grocery store to get that stuff. And so she woke up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm melting my butter right now and it says ground cinnamon to taste.
that's the funnest part. Not this, but that. Okay, so um, ground cinnamon to taste. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of cinnamon in there. Probably maybe a fourth of a teaspoon. Maybe not even that much. And then give this a quick stir. That's my butter that's melted. I'm gonna, I like this little whisk right here for like eggs. But I'm going to use this spoon right here, or this spatula spoon scraper thing right here. And stir this up just a little bit more. Give it a good stir. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes when you're cooking you have little helpers helping you cook and that's never oh, that's never a bad thing it's always fun but she came in here and she saw me getting all my ingredients and she brought me her apron and like okay mom let's start cooking <laughs> so i put her apron on her I need to get her an apron, like a, a good apron. Maybe a couple of them. Because when she cooks, she gets it all over herself. Don't you, baby girl? I think there's still some chocolate on that from the waffles yesterday. Or the other day. It's not quite a little bit more. hasn't been 10 minutes, but I'm gonna um, add the butter to this. Girl, you really should not be eating a stick of, look at that. You don't eat a stick of butter. All right, this is going in the trash. Crazy. Crazy girl, eat your bread. Yeah, eat your bread. Okay, and since this bowl is a little bit bigger, I'm gonna pour this into here. That's the melted butter that I just poured that into. That'll give me a little bit more room to kind of stir. Still, still spilled it out of the bowl, but not as bad maybe. Marianne, you making a mess? Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. No, ma'am. She keeps me on my toes, y'all. She keeps me on my toes. Nope. All right, so I'm gonna let this. Um, <laughs> my mom, mom. I'm gonna stir this up a little bit more. Get it kind of all mixed in and um, wait about another, what, six, seven minutes or so, and um, we'll uh, come back whenever, maybe she'll be, I don't know, maybe she'll be in the other room and I can actually cook by myself. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, it's been about 10 minutes since I put the bread in this milk. Um, I don't know how much more bread or milk this bread can really absorb um so i don't know i've never made bread pudding i've eaten it and it's good but i've never i've never uh made it so i don't know i don't know how much longer i should wait for this to go but it says let stand for approximately 10 minutes so and i'm i've i'm about ready to i mean if i stir it anymore it's just gonna start crumbling the bread i think so um i'm just gonna go with it and let's see what it does so it says to um pour this Mix this into the bowl of bread and milk. So I'm going to pour this into here. Just adding more liquids. I don't, anyway. 
whatever that's what it says to do and so that's what i'm doing and then it says to um bake it for 50 to 60 minutes in a preheated oven but it doesn't tell me what the temperature should be so um i'm gonna mix this up and then i'm gonna pour it into this um it says do it in a 9 by 13 2 inch baking dish and this is not <coughs> oh, sorry this is not a 9 by 13 baking dish, but it's also a little bit deeper than 2 inches. So, um, I'm just going to go with it. And um, if I've got, if I have some left over, if I have some left over, I will, um, yeah. I will uh, just add it to another uh, bowl. Oh, this fits perfect. So, I don't have to do anything to it. So, that is the perfect size for that, evidently. So, um, my oven is not quite preheated, so I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit longer. It does not say to cover it or anything like that. It just says bake it in a baking dish. In a preheated oven for approximately 50 to 60 minutes or until a knife inserted comes out clean and or comes out fairly clean and it yields approximately 12 servings so i'm going to take this and i'm going to put it into the oven as soon as it goes off and when it comes out i will let you know how it goes okay guys so my bread pudding and um, the timer just went off on that so I'm gonna pull it out of the oven. Um, I don't know if it's done yet. It says to put a knife in there and if it comes out clean, it's, it's very, um, very wet still. So I'm gonna give it probably, I it said pick it for 50 to 60 minutes and I only did it for 50. So I'm gonna give it 10 more minutes and see um, what it looks like then. Cause like I said, it's a little soupy. So, say hi. Look, can you say hi? Uh -uh. Hey guys, so um, the timer just went off on the bread pudding and this is, so it's been in there for 60 minutes now. So let's see. If that uh, helped it any. Ugh. It's still really, really, really runny. Um, very jiggly. So, um, there's still a lot of liquid in there. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it in for another five more minutes, maybe. Like I said, this never did say what, um, I'll do it for another 10. It never said what uh, temperature to put it in here at, so I just guessed at 350. So it might have needed to be in there for um, a higher temperature, um, which would make it cook faster better whatever um so i'm gonna do it for another 10 minutes and we'll try again okay guys we're gonna try this one more time so it's been in the oven for about an hour and 10 minutes at 350 so let's see what what we got going on now it's still really jiggly But it's a little bit harder than it was. It keeps poofing up, so that's good. I don't want to have to my light on knife. So get a new one. It says to 
cook it until it comes out mostly clean. It's not as runny. It's not as watery. So that's how clean the knife came out. It said mostly clean. So, um, what do you think? That's mostly clean, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the oven and let it cool off for a little bit and then we'll have a piece or a scoop. Do you really have a piece of bread pudding? I don't know. Anyways, don't forget to uh, like the video and subscribe. Man, it's not. Man, it's climbing on the bar. Um, like the video and subscribe and um, see what we're cooking next. Talk to you later.